everyone. Your designers are here. I'm Anita from Cedar Hill Farmhouse. And I'm Yvonne at Stone Gable. And I'm Kelly from My Soulful Home. And we have tips and tricks and decorating advice for you. So let's get started. This is episode 19, What's in Your Toolbox? Are you ladies ready to talk about I mean, I'm excited. (laughs) I am too. I don't think I've ever told anyone what's in my toolbox. (laughs) But I'm ready. Uh, Oh, sounds like she may have a dainty one. (laughs) I don't know. Knowing Kelly, no. (laughs) I have a lot of multi-purpose tools. Okay. Well, the reason that this is kind of uh, a special one for me is because this was something that was a bonding thing for my dad and me. He was a oh, how sweet. He was a DIYer and uh, almost built a house by himself before I was born, but he did everything himself. He did wiring, carpentry, just I can't even think about anything he couldn't do. I just thought he was Superman. He could do everything. Oh, oh, that know. is lovely. And I used to help him um, not necessarily because I wanted to, but because I would be uh, <laughs> drafted. <laughs> To hold things, you know, when the saw was. But you going. know, it served it serves you well now. Yeah. Oh yes. So I had mm-hmm. a real. So I have a very high comfort level with tools and uh, power tools, and you know, I had to know what everything was because I was kind of like the assistant to the surgeon, and I would be, you know, having to hand him this or that. So you know, I was oh, probably wow. the only five year old yeah. that knew what a you know a, a Phillips head screwdriver was. You know. <laughs> Good, Good <girl>. for you. <laughs> So anyway, it was a special thing. So this is very important if you are a DIYer. You need to have Mm -hmm. some tools in your toolbox. So let's get into this and talk about uh, what we love to use and we use all the time. So Mm -hmm. Yvonne, why don't you kick us off? What do you use? Yeah, well, you know, other than the the things that every toolbox has, like a a measuring tape and probably nails and a hammer. We're not talking going to talk about that so much today. It's just things that we found that were very handy. Mm-hmm. And I think I'll start off with zip ties. You know mm-hmm. those little plastic, long plastic um, uh, things that you you loop around. Isn't and that it, what it they has use like, when they um, kidnap somebody? <laughs> Is that what they do? Ooh, I can know new use. Well, anyway, I use. <laughs> I have lots and lots of them in different sizes because you can always put something together with them and it's easy because it's not it stays for as long as you need it something affixed um, but when you're done you just cut them apart and um, I really use them around the holiday time like to put my garland on my banister mm, and things like idea. that so I always oh, have smart. I always have zip times in a lot of different sizes the other thing I have is Gorilla Glue mm. And I first found out about Gorilla Glue because it was in my husband's toolbox. Mm. And, you know, living Mm. in the country, um, about once every four years or so, kids go on a rampage and they knock down all the tool, all the mailboxes in the neighborhood, like smash them. Mm -hmm. So That's um, so uncool. I know. 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 Ours ours, uh, was the victim of a baseball bat, I think. And in doing that, we have a wooden post. They knocked... Uh, our, they uh, cut our post basically in two. It fell off. And, you know, my husband tried the easy fix first because he didn't want to have to it's sunk in concrete in the ground. and didn't want to have to <sighs> dig that all up, dig the concrete out, you know, buy a new post, report. Okay, so when you catch those kids, that's when you take out your zip ties. <laughs> <laughs> then, yes, I yeah, really yeah. like that. And you okay. handcuff them behind their back. Hey, let me take them way out into a field. <laughs> there you go. And let them stay there. Hey, yeah. okay, I can go on, but I'm going to go on. Let's not I get on her bad side. I know, really. I love the way so she thinks. So when you say you know where the bodies are buried, I thought you were just I do know where the bodies are. When she says it, we're going to really have to think about it. But anyway, so my husband decided that he, you know, how strong Gorilla Glue is, that he was going to Gorilla Glue the um, cut into um, post for a wooden post for the mailbox. So I'm in doing my thing and he's out gorilla gluing like crazy. Well, this was several years ago and the gorilla glue sort of foams up. Yes. So as it was foaming up, he would take like a paper towel and wipe wipe it all away and just lay it in the grass. Well, we have 
we had a Pomeranian at that time, a little, you know, little tiny dog with lots of fuzzy hair. And he just thought it would be so delightful to roll in all those <laughs> Gorilla Glue paper towels. <laughs> And let me tell you, you cannot get Gorilla Glue out of hair <laughs> or fur. Oh, my goodness. And he rolled in all these Gorilla Glue laden paper towels. No. And he was covered in towel and Gorilla Glue. I'm picturing this little dog running <laughs> And he's, like, he's like the most precious little prissy dog. He just, you know, he's a farm dog, but he just looks so, you know, cute and prissy that, um, yeah, he was just filled with it. So we had to really wait till it hardens because every time you touch it, it you know, it, it gets on oh. something else and it mm-hmm. just, it's just a big mess. And uh, yeah, Gorilla Glue works on mailbox posts mailbox posts and dogs oh my god so, <laughs> that is we hilarious finally, yeah, yeah we find we had to take him and he had to be shaved and you know oh. he was fine it didn't it didn't hurt him which we're we're very happy about but we were pretty hysterical about it because it was really cute um you know he's used that, to going out in the I mean, field and rolling in something and here he's rolling in the gorilla glue in the yard oh my, so that's my first that. when i found out how well gorilla glue really sticks Yes. together yes it's it's, uh, it's quite and powerful. so that's in my that's definitely in my toolbox because it comes in handy all the time here at, at stone gable and the other thing that i have in my toolbox is a dremel tool i actually have a little case that it comes in and, and for those of you who don't know what a dremel tool is it's it's um almost like this <clears throat> miniature it's not very big the one i have uh base that has a um, mine is um not battery operated you have to plug it in and you can make it into a sanding tool or a cutting tool or a drill it has like mine has about 30 bits and i've probably not used about oh does it engrave know, 15 also? of them i think it does mm-hmm. quite a few i'm sorry things. it doesn't it also engrave and it does, and it saws. It's wonderful. Oh, wow. So I have wow. a drum tool, and I like to use it, especially um, if I need to drill something. It's perfect mm-hmm. for that, Not, so I don't have to bring out the big equipment. So I have that in my toolbox. So those are my three I'm going to talk about today. Oh, that's how about you? I'm, uh, let's... I'm interested in that Dremel. Yeah, I, I yeah. Think they were cutting the um, drywall to put in some of the vents for the air conditioning unit. Mm-hmm. I think the guy was using. A Dremel, and it really wasn't making a big giant mess, like you no. know, as if he was sawing it, the, mm-hmm. the plaster wouldn't flying mm-hmm. everywhere. Oh yeah, okay. So I I didn't think to have one of those in my personal tool. Uh, yeah, and they're very reasonable. I have like the years ago I got this the big set, but you don't really need you know unless you're doing a lot of DIYing. Uh-huh. Um, I could have just mm-hmm. maybe had four or five tools that I use constantly. But yeah, mm-hmm. it's a really good thing to have in your toolbox. Oh, it's awesome! Um, and actually, it comes in a little box of its own. Well, and oh, I think we're going to be it mentioning it comes in its own little box. So too. <laughs> we're going to be covering so many today, and there's I think there's going to be a lot that we can't get in the podcast. So we're definitely going to have a much more complete list of our favorite mm-hmm. tools in the show notes. So don't that's a good idea. To go there, de- uh, decorating yeah. tips and tricks dot yeah. com. All right, good Kelly, one. how yeah. about you? Well, I we had uh, a drill a long time ago, but it was Peter bought it. But Peter's not. Peter's not like your dad, Anita. So Did you, are you whispering Andy? over there? <laughs> yeah, Peter. Peter's not like your dad. Um, yeah, no actually, offense, he, Peter. We love no you, offense. Peter. He does lots of things really well. Yes. But he's just not so we have to say like helping nice us of, put this podcast together. That's right. Yeah, he's going to be listening to this. We have to say we love you, Peter. We do lots and we lots. Do. We do. He's a tech genius, but he's you know that's we have a good division of labor here. So I became sort of more the handy person. Um, you go, girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I got my own drill because we had a drill, but I couldn't really find all the bits and pieces to it. So I I purchased my uh, my own drill. I was standing in the aisle at Home Depot, and I was asked a few people, and and I I just had this crowd of, of uh, men around me to I tell wonder it. why <laughs> Kelly <laughs> for those of you who have never seen what Kelly looked like I wonder why Kelly <laughs> yeah, we're not shocked. well I'm sure I wasn't looking my best I had just come from, you know I was in the middle of a project and I ran over there and I was like oh, today's the day I'm getting a drill and so I you know I believe mine is black and decker and it's a good size for me I'm not a big person I don't have a giant hand so it's not heavy to hold and I just is it pink I, well, I wish it was. Maybe I could. Maybe I could. Yeah, they, it. they have they have feminine colored 
not the I know, but I didn't want to go no. that route. Uh-huh. I had all these guys there. Yeah. And the kind of, kind of <laughs> I didn't want to be like, is there a pink one? I could, yeah, yeah. I mean, gotcha, you can't I got gotcha. You can't pull out a pink, you know, drill nah. if you want to be taken nah. seriously. You I have know. no feel, cred then. There's no, no cred. No street cred. No. You got a pink one? I, no tool cred. I, no, I, I have really, a dremel. Um, I don't know. when I'm using my drill. I love it. So I got it uh, just with a couple of bits. I didn't want to, you know, it, you know. Sometimes you you buy the whole. Oh, buy the bonus set. I didn't need that. I just I took the <laughs> advice for some of these gentlemen. Some of them I didn't take their advice. I went with uh, just a couple of different yeah. um, bits, and it's super easy to use. And I I have used it so many times since here. And I sometimes I have been a little hesitant to hang heavy heavy mirrors mm-hmm. in this house yeah. because. Mm-hmm. 85% of the walls are lath and plaster, which, oh. it, you know, it's, it, you know, reacts differently when you're trying to, like, yes. if you try to hammer into lath and pl- yes. plaster, it just bounces off it. It's oh, crazy. Wow. So, um, you have to use a drill for that. And so now that I have my drill, I feel like I can do anything really with it. And, <laughs> and so that's been great. I, and I haven't had to have people come in to help me do that. I can do it on my own. So and Kelly, whatever my drill wanna... was like 39 bucks. That certainly was a big savings. Yeah, that's a good deal. So I want to add And then going those. along with the the drill to hang these heavy things, I do like to use the um, anchor screws mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. or, you know, the or the molly screws molly that mold. pop yep. open inside the wall. Right. So mm-hmm, those are a mm-hmm. good thing to have in your toolbox. So what I was wanted um, to say about the drill while we're talking about it is if people are going to use it also for, you know, an electric screwdriver, to be sure mm-hmm. and you yes. get the variable speed drill because otherwise it's just going to have one speed. It's going to be on or off. And if you're using mm-hmm. it for a screwdriver, you really need to be able to start out slowly and adjust the speed. Mm-hmm. And you really want to get one that could uh, that does both chores. Wow. Okay. Mine, I don't think mine does that. Mm. I wish you were had been in the aisle. I, I see me. another trip of, to Home Depot in I your future. I know, future. but see, Anita needed to be in the aisle with me, not these guys. So I didn't know that. But so when I when I put in a screwdriver, I'm just all at it. Oh. <laughs> like, put, put you, you have one speed <laughs> on and off. Well, that's pretty much the way I am. I have I have one speed. That's true. Uh, and so does my drill. Um, okay, and I cannot stand labels uh, even on my fruit. I think we've discussed yes, that at some yes, point. She's, yes, she's yes. So a I, kindred, a kindred spirit with me. Right. So, and sometimes you get these these stickers, and you just can't get them off. And uh, ugh, I can't stand that. You're running it under the water, and you're wasting water, and you're just great. so. I love Goo Gone. I, for <gasps> some reason, too. I call it Gooby Gone, oh, yeah. but I, I I looked at it this morning, and the actual label is Goo Gone. Mm-hmm. So I just have a little squirty bottle of that under my sink squirt it you know it doesn't smell so great but you know it's doing its thing doesn't it smell you, like oranges well they have that sort of faux orange scent yeah on yeah top of mm-hmm. it. but you know no orange from a tree that I <laughs> smells like that yes and you would know california i would girl. know i would mm-hmm. know i'm a citrus person uh anyway you just squirt it and you maybe set it on your sink uh inside your sink for a little bit and uh let it do its work and then that comes right off i love that um and then painter's tape mm. which of mm-hmm. course I oh, use if yes. I spray yes. paint something or paint something you know for its, mm-hmm. its original purpose but painter's tape is a wonderful uh, tool to use for lots of things I did it a little bit here when we first moved in to mark off the size of furniture in, on the floor Ooh, in rooms yeah good for you because we were concerned about getting certain pieces into the room based on the size of the openings and whatnot mm-hmm. because of the age of the house. So I didn't want to, um, you know, get something in that I would that would be hard to get in and then be like, oh gosh, I don't like it there, or it's too big or it's too small. So that's helpful. I do that sometimes with clients too if they're moving into mm-hmm. a new home and their furniture hasn't mm-hmm. come yet. Oh, great idea! We can sort of block mm-hmm. it off to get a mm-hmm. sense. And then uh, painter's tape is great for things like if you have a wallpaper sample or something put it up on the wall it's not going to damage your wall oh, right. I have a several pieces in the powder room right now tacked up with painter's tape because I'm trying to decide which pattern I want to go with um so I find that to be really um a useful thing to have in there mm, oh that's awesome. wonderful yeah good oh. good list Kelly it is Thank it you. is okay well let me talk about a few of mine I love uh the picture hangers I'm going to pronounce it oak but they're O-O-K there are a specific type of picture hangers that you hang on the wall. And what I like about Anita, them, I've never heard of that. 
OOK? Yes. Okay. I'll put, it'll be in the show notes, but these particular hangers, they come in several different sizes. So if you have something really heavy and for some reason you don't want to have to do the molly bolts into the wall, these are mm-hmm. great because it's kind of an in-between. The bigger ones, you know, some of them hold up to 50 pounds and they use oh my. two or three nails. So it's mm-hmm. got more support, you know, if you've got something oh. kind of heavy. So I love those. Okay. Yeah, I'm really interested in seeing what they are. Oh, yeah, yeah, I've Mm -hmm. I've used them a lot. And then while you're hanging things, it sounds like I hang things on the wall a lot. I guess guess we all do, right? (laughs) If you're in my house, you do. Yeah. (laughs) Yes, oh, my. You you just don't know the nail holes hovering behind pictures I have. Well, I know it. So what do you use to fill in the nail holes? I'm just curious. Oh my! Oh my! Husband hates nail holes. Yeah, me too. Hates them. Now I can live with them as long as they're, you know, covered by something else. Oh. <laughs> but <laughs> you just put something no. else in, on, like a picture in front of the. P- oh, absolutely. Oh, <laughs> yeah, just don't look. Just don't look by, behind anything hung in my house. No. If, if I can get away with it, if my husband sees it, it's a different story. Well, that's what but, I use the caulk for. I fill in. Yeah, he with fixes caulk. it. He caulks mm-hmm, it, mm-hmm. sands it, and paints it. Well, I don't sand it. That's too much work. Are you kidding me? You just put that caulk <laughs> on, and then you get out your. Paint no, you never know. You never know when he's finished that he made a mistake, or I said, "Okay, honey, you've got to put it two inches to the left." Yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah. I'm moving. Yeah, you put it up, and then you go, "Oops." It's it's not quite Ooh, right. Yeah, well, sometimes yeah. it really is hard to visualize. So sometimes you do mm-hmm. end up moving it after you already have all the nails mm-hmm. in the wall. Oh, no. that That's that's caulked, sanded, and painted. Well, if he's sanding it, maybe he's using wood filler or something. Maybe it's not caulk because you don't really sand caulk. Well, it's got to be perfectly smooth. Oh, well. Dries it and make sure it's perfectly smooth like the wall. Oh, well. He probably doesn't do <laughs> caulk because that's kind of a, you know, a, a, a hack. Okay, okay. Yeah, that I use. Oh, and no, a hack is put squirting toothpaste in it. Oh, <laughs> that's a, oh, and you know, I've never done that, but I hear that really works. Mm, I might have done that in a rental. Oh, uh, you might have. <laughs> yeah. Just don't get it wet, then you got a problem. So maybe toothpaste should go into your toolbox as well. I don't think, no, I am not going to recommend that at all. Do okay, not. Okay. <laughs> I might try it, though, no, just to see. No, don't, 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 don't use that. Do the caulk. That's much okay. better. Okay. <laughs> Pesto pork chops over Parmesan polenta. Not that easy to say, but oh, so easy to make with Green Chef. Green Chef is the number one meal kit company for eating well, and we have such a great deal for you. You're going to save $250. Listen on for the details on that. Green Chef makes eating well easy for any lifestyle, whether you're keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, gluten-free, or just looking to eat more balanced meals. You know, we're getting into the busy holiday season, so it's a perfect time to have Green Chef help you out. Let Green Chef take the work out of eating clean this holiday season with their chef-crafted, nutritionist-approved recipes featuring fresh ingredients and nothing artificial. And you know what? You don't have to lose track of your healthy eating habits during the holidays. Every Green Chef customer gets a free, that's right, a free session with their registered dietitians who will walk you through how to make clean eating work for you. So sign up for your free session and start on the road towards better health today. And the deal I want to tell you about, visit greenchef.com slash DTT250 and use the code DTT250 for $250 off your order. So that's greenchef.com slash DTT250 and use the code DTT250 for $250 off your order. Green Chef is a delicious delight any time of year, but especially during the holidays. What a wonderful vision to behold of the Green Chef boxes on your doorstep. Green Chef is the number one meal kit for eating well. And it makes eating well so easy with plans to fit every lifestyle, whether you're keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, gluten-free, or just looking to eat a more balanced diet. So let Green Chef take the work out of eating clean this holiday season. And if you've got guests coming, shop Green Bundles. They're now available at the Green Market. It's your one-stop shop for nutritious grab-and-go breakfasts, including vegan options, brunch kits, wholesome lunches, ready-to-eat snacks, veggie sides, and more. You can feel your best this December and do your best with Green Chef because they offset 100% of the delivery emissions as well as 100% of the plastic in every box. 
Go to greenchef.com slash 60DTT and use the code 60DTT and get 60% off plus 20% off your next two months. Greenchef.com slash 60DTT and use the code 6060DTT to get 60% off plus 20% off your next two months. So if you, so when you're nailing in, let's say you want to support, you know, whatever, and you want to nail into the stud, I use my stud finder quite a bit. Mm, yeah. It's always good to have a stud finder. Yes, well, you know. Yeah. Sometimes you're just at a loss and you need a stud finder. You need, yes. You need to find that stud. So when I, when have you found yeah. Kevin? But, yeah, I was just yeah, going to say yeah, that. Yeah, something like that. So, uh, yeah, so tell us how that works. Well, anyway, you know, when I was on the uh, working on the Texas Flip and Move house, we mm-hmm. were hanging some pictures and I was working with these kind of younger guys. And I was saying, well, you know, just, um, you know, put that into the stud. And they kind of looked at me and I said, you know, uh, just find the stud. And they looked at me again. And I'm like, oh, for Pete's sake. <laughs> you know, they thought you were talking about them. I know. Well, right. yes. Here. So anyway, yeah, I kind of showed them how you pound your hand and you listen for that hollow. You know, it's like it's like bumping. It's like whacking on the watermelons to see which one mm-hmm. is ripe. That's mm-hmm. what you do on the wall to see that spot that's not vibrating. That's right. So it, my daddy taught me that. But now you can just get one of these little yeah. tools, electronic tools that you just run across the wall and it'll tell you where it is. And then it also um, runs a beam of red light to show you when things are level well I don't have I have an old one it doesn't have the red beam but I think that would be even better but it certainly is going to save your knuckles mm-hmm. from whacking on the wall mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> Bobby has one in his I don't have one but that's something that I wouldn't mind getting for so many <laughs> things in, in the house that I use oh yeah the other thing that I use an awful lot and I can't even tell you what I use it for is a needle nose pliers I mean do you all use those a lot Mm-hmm. I, I do. I mean, it's just, you know, if you're, you know, doing any kind of reupholstery, p- pulling those Absolutely. upholstery nails out or, I don't know. I just, it just seems like they come in handy all the time. Mm-hmm. Just to pinch little things and pull them out that you, your fingers can't get, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. What about duct tape? Do you all use that a lot? Is that, or is it just <gasps> me? No, duct tapes, duct tape holds the world together. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> And now they have all that designer duct tape. Have you seen mm-hmm. that? Mm-hmm. So what do you do with the duct tape? Oh, I don't use duct everything. tape. Well, I mean, if you want to put something in place where it's not going to be seen or, you know, when I have the plates that I hang on the wall, I mm-hmm. like to use the D hangers or you can use the tabs from a soda can to hang them with. Mm-hmm. And, mm-hmm. I use, and I use, I use, that's, what is it? What did you say? Deet? D, D rings. D rings. Oh, D, and I use those discs, which are the same yeah, thing. Yeah, the leads discs. Mm-hmm. Right, but my yeah. readers yeah, alerted me on my blog that the those were awfully expensive, and they didn't, and they, they said. They are expensive. So they, but, you know, here's the beauty of those. Yeah. You, if you use, if you use another kind, they're on for good. If you put a plate up, you think, oh, I may want to serve salad on that someday. You can rinse your plate, keep it in water, and it, and the, um, the adhesive will come off, so and it doesn't damage anything. Okay. See, that's the beauty of that. Well, that's true. Yeah, and I'm actually doing a lot of that right now because mm-hmm. I had a lot of plates on the wall in the other house that I'm maybe not going to use all of them or I'm going to use different ones. So mm-hmm. I've been taking it off, and it is super easy. A little yeah. sudsy right. water, and they just slide right, right so off. So if you mm-hmm. use the D-rings, you can affix them with the Gorilla Glue like we talked about, but I hold them in place with duct tape while the glue is drying. Oh, okay. And then, you know, I just leave the duct tape on, but you don't need it once the glue is dry. Mm-hmm. But And you were saying, but here's the thing, you don't, when you want to use them to actually eat off of, you can kind of take your uh, case knife and just pop it off with a little tap. Oh, okay, sure. Yeah. Because you don't rough up the back of it to, to give it a better adhesion. Well, I didn't, no. I mean. Oh, okay. Yeah, Good. That worked Good to rather know. Well. Yeah. So, what what other what other tools do you, do you have? Hmm. Uh, a small hammer. Yeah. Yeah. And sometimes now this isn't in my toolbox, but when I can't find my small hammer because I've left it somewhere, I have a meat mallet that works just <laughs> as good. <laughs> I have like an old wooden meat mallet, and I tell you, I that that if I'm in a pinch and I can't find my hammer because I 
didn't put it back or something absolutely i also have wire in there oh yeah wire yeah yeah like thin wire just to you know like wire i'm thinking like a wreath to a door i often mm-hmm. wire that onto the door something like that and i always know where it is and also chenille um uh pipe cleaners oh what do you Why? use those for well, the same thing, and if you're going to use, instead of wire, if you're using it on wood, as long as you can't see it, like to put together, and I, I um, if I don't have the right size, a zip tie, I always keep them in there because they're soft, mm-hmm. and they won't mm-hmm. scratch like wire scratches. Well, do you know, speaking of the duct tape, I actually had a tray of kind of a brass, it's a big heavy tray, brass tray, on top of a brass stand, and one of the legs mm-hmm. broke. And so I used duct tape to repair the break. <laughs> I mean, because of where it was, mm-hmm. I was able to repair mm-hmm. it with duct tape. And then I mm-hmm. ended up getting some paint and painting it to match the leg. And you cannot You tell. painted the duct tape? Yes, I did. Stop oh. it. It looks great. You cannot uh, tell. <laughs> okay, that's brilliant tip of the day. <laughs> wow. You can paint over duct, duct tape. I never knew that. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, Anybody? I have one. Because we're still talking about hanging things, you know. Yeah. I get, you know, that's probably a lot of what we use our tools for. Sometimes you buy something, and whether it's supposed to go on the wall or you want it to go on the wall, and it doesn't have any hook or anything on the back. Mm-hmm. Um, so I like to get those a little package of those. Um, they're they're for mounting things, but they're the ones with the little teeth. You know, and they come in different oh, lengths. Oh, I know what you're yes, saying. yes, yes. And they come with those bitty little nails, yes. mm-hmm. which you're you can a use bracket your hammer that you for. put yes. across the center. Right, and so then you put it mm-hmm. into the top. I mean, obviously, mm-hmm. the item you're that you would use this for has to be wooden or something mm-hmm. that would take mm-hmm. a little tiny nail. But um, those are great, and it's kind of an easy. You put. I would suggest getting a longer one and putting just one in the middle rather than one on either end, because sure. when you get something with the one on either mm-hmm. end, you, and have, you to have to level line up yes. both those yes. nails. Yeah. Yep, that's where your leveler comes in handy. True. Yes. The, the other thing is we're talking about hanging is 3M hangers. Mm, mm-hmm. You know, the kind that you pull that they're not permanently affixed and they don't hurt oh, anything. Yes, yes. Oh, yeah. They are wonderful. And I have them in every size you can buy them in. And you can buy them for outdoors as well, outside oh, I now. Oh. I've got to try those. Oh, they're wonderful. So how the, do they stick to the the wall or, or the surface? Well you you clean well <clears throat> you clean it with alcohol, that little just to get I guess all the anything that would be greasier, that would be dusty that wouldn't um, let the, let this hanger affix. Uh-huh. And it has like a, a then you just stick it up there. Uh, you have to let it, I think you have to let the alcohol dry and then you okay. stick it up there. Then you have to wait a certain amount of time and then you can hang your, thi- your whatever you want. And it gives you a weight there by weight, mm-hmm. <clears throat> excuse me, that you can, um, you can buy them. So if you're going to hang something that weighs like, uh, that's light, like a plate mm-hmm. or like a small plate and, or something that's heavy, like a mirror, um, y- you just you just decide on you know the weight that you're going to use and then when you're done you just pull this tab the secret to that and I've learned this the secret to that is pulling it slowly there's and it's it's almost like um oh it's like a uh rubbery kind of (laughs) something that come pulls off the 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 uh glue that adheres it you pull this tab down nice and slow and evenly and it'll just pop right off oh okay well good tip there Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i like to have twine too or um, any kind of Mm -hmm. uh, string or twine the way i have been hanging wreaths lately so i don't do any damage to the doors um because I can't put one on my front door because we have an old-fashioned screen door in front of it. So oh, it how fun. Yeah. But then there's, when you walk into the foyer, then there's mm-hmm. another door that goes to the dining room. So mm-hmm. I kind of leave that one a little bit, you know, sort of halfway open. So from the outside, you can see that door. So mm-hmm. that's where I've been putting Aww. my wreath. Mm-hmm. So I've been just tacking a nail in the top, you know, the, you know, the horizontal part of the top mm-hmm. of the door. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So you don't see it, and then tying the twine around the back of the wreath, and then just looping it over there. Oh, great! Oh, idea. that's a good idea. Yeah, great idea. And if you have to have a solid wood door for that, we have right. We have a, um, I guess, steel doors. Our, our front, our, our, all of our doors oh. are enforced with steel, so that doesn't work. But yeah, if you'd have a solid wood, that would be awesome. Yeah.
Inevitably, with the new year, come wellness goals. One very effective and easy to reach goal is to add DOS to your wellness regime. DOS is expertly formulated organic wellness shots that support your liver in one delicious drink. Formulated with ingredients clinically shown to support liver health, potent turmeric, milk thistle, and ginger. There's zero sugar and zero calories. Did you know that your liver performs over 500 special functions? Since I learned all that my liver is doing, I started with DOSE to support all those vital functions. I take a shot of refreshing DOSE two times per week to combat everyday toxins from food, meds, alcohol, and unhealthy air. Since starting with Dose about a month ago, I am definitely feeling an overall improvement in my health. So if you want to give Dose a shot and invest in your health like I have, Dose is offering DTT listeners 15% off your first order, plus an additional 15% off if you subscribe for a monthly delivery. That's 30% off your first order. So go to dosedaily.com co slash dtt and use the code dtt that's dose daily dot co dot co slash dtt and use the code dtt go ahead clean out your closet then head straight to quince i love every item quince offers from wardrobe to decor and i can really recommend their ultra stretch super wide leg pant at forty nine ninety. The price is unbeatable and the look is so flattering. It keeps you in on top and flares out of the bottom. Everything feels right with Quince. The price, the quality, and the sustainability. Quince offers a range of luxury wardrobe and home goods at prices within reach. And like Quince's clothing, their home goods are priced fifty to eighty percent less than similar brands. Quince only works with factories that use safe, ethical, and responsible manufacturing practices, along with premium fabrics and finishes. Once you've cleaned out your closet and refreshed with Quince, you can also add something to your home decor. So give your wardrobe and your home the refresh it needs with Quince. Go to quince.com DTT to get free shipping and 365-day returns on your next order. That's quince, Q-U-I-N-C-E dot com slash DTT for free shipping and 365-day returns. Quince.com slash DTT. And let me know how you love those pants. Another tool that I like to use is a saber saw. I mean, there's there's so many saws that you can have, but I think that one is one that I end up using the most. So, Well, tell us about it. I'm not a saw aficionado. <laughs> well, this is one that Neither just has, I. I mean, there's a table, uh, you know, there's a table saw, there's miter saws, and I have a miter saw. I need mm-hmm. a table saw. But the saber saw is one where it's just kind of like a little, I don't know, like a, a pen or something, and it just kind of goes up and down. So oh, it doesn't yeah, have the yeah, round yeah. blade. Gotcha. So it doesn't gotcha. have the disc blade. It just has like a mm-hmm. little, mm-hmm. like a little saber, you know, that goes up and, and down. And it goes back and just back and forth up and in down. place. Up and down in place. Oh, up and down. Right. Okay. So a lot of times I buy chairs, for example, that are caned and they're antique. They're almost always damaged. Or if they're not damaged, they're mm-hmm. just not uh, strong enough to support weight anymore because they're old and, and fragile. So I almost always cut a piece of wood to go on, or, you know, just like a real thin luon to go on top mm-hmm. of the seat and then I make a beautiful uh, cushion and slip cover to go on top of that but hmm. you know I mark it with a pen on mm-hmm. the luon and then I just cut with the saber saw and it's you know 10 minutes well or less I mean oh, I may have to put that in I may have to look at that because mm-hmm. I think I can actually use the Dremel, Dremel tool for that so I'm okay oh, yeah you might be able the, to but I use it yeah, a lot the, the other thing that I have in my toolbox are things like rubber bands, um, those thumbtacks, but both the flat and the the, the ones mm-hmm. that um, have the you know they're they're more of a um, raised, and they're great if you want to hang something really light. You can just push that right into the wall. I, I use that occasionally, especially if I'm hanging like a banner or something like that. Mm-hmm. Um, so I have what did I say? Rubber bands, thumbtacks, and even things like safety pins and straight pins. Mm-hmm. I mean, I just, I can't tell you like how many times I've like, okay, that, 
that um, curtain doesn't lay right when it's opened that I just put like a straight pin through it because you know how sometimes they fold backwards mm-hmm. yes. instead of yes. folding into themselves mm-hmm. something like that works so I just keep those things instead of having to run all over the house to look for them scissors I always keep a pair mm-hmm. of like working scissors and I keep a good pair so I replace them because scissors when they get dull they're miserable yeah and don't I use keep those a knife, fabric scissors a knife. On, on, on those household items I hide my no fabric one should scissors. ever no someone's no, 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 fabric no. scissors without <laughs> because they're done they're done then you have to get them resharpened absolutely but you know keep things like just just things that you'd use like a, a nice little um a knife a, a sharp knife you don't know if you're going to need that uh like a, a butter knife in there because you don't know if you're going to have to pry something so I just have a whole bunch of tools things in there that I could use in a pinch that I don't have to run all over the house and look for them Great ideas, everybody. I learned some things. I'm definitely mm-hmm. going to uh, investigate this Dremel and, mm-hmm. and those hangers. <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. So thanks so much for listening to us today. We hope that you learned uh, about some new items for your toolbox. And remember, we're here to inspire you to create a beautiful home. Until next time. Hey there. If you're loving our podcast like we're loving our podcast, we would love you to rate and review us. Head to iTunes to do that. It's easy and it would mean so much to us. And if you do rate and review us, we're going to enter you to win a fantastic giveaway. The details for the giveaway are in the show notes for this episode. And you can find the show notes at decoratingtipsandtricks.com.